Hi, I'm Stephanie. Welcome to my sewing room. Today we're talking t-shirts. Let's make them fun. Let's make them different. Let's make them unique. I want to talk about how to take your regular t-shirt pattern and just give it a little drama uh, using some of your scraps and unwanted pieces of fabric. That's what I did. So I will start by saying that any t-shirt pattern will do and I will just give you some of my little things that I did to make my t-shirt pattern work for me. Um, now, there's lots of free t-shirt patterns out there, and what I would say to look for is the shape that you want. I loved the t-shirt I picked because it had a little bit of a shape to it instead of being a boxy, but that's what I wanted. Maybe you want the boxy instead. So pick the kind of t-shirt you wanted. I definitely wanted a v-neck. If you want a crew neck or a round neck, boat neck, whatever, that pick what you want. Pick your t-shirt that you love. And I picked, actually the t-shirt I picked has a free version, it just didn't have it in my size. So I went ahead and downloaded the paid version of the Abrazo T by Blank Slate Patterns Melly Sews. And um, she had complete instructions and a video. That helped, having a video. She had a lot of good ideas on there. So let's just start with the pattern I'm using, which is that one. I will put a link to it in my description box. But again, use whatever pattern you want. So the first thing I did is I checked her size chart. I think I'm an XL and on her pattern, I was an XL. My bust is 44, my waist is 41 and a half. And so based on her size chart, I was an XL. So that's what I cut out and I made this shirt. I chose the three quarter length sleeve and this was a piece of scrap fabric. Um, and here's some issues I had. It was too tight and I didn't want it to be like loose and baggy, but I didn't want to be uncomfortable either. I'll wear this, I'll get a lot of wear out of it, I'll enjoy it, but it, it was too tight. So this was my next shirt and the only difference is I went up in size. I actually went to 2X because uh, I thought this one was so tight I needed to go up two sizes. No, I really only needed to go up one size. So I cut this back down after I tried on just the shell of it and I ended up in a 1X. So don't feel like you have to be stuck with any size. It isn't about what someone says your size is based on your measurements. It, it depends on how you want to feel in the garment. So this was supposed to be my size and it did fit, but and it is a snug t-shirt. It's supposed to be, but I didn't like it. So I changed my size. Now I have the pattern size I want. Here we go. I felt like I was getting too much of a line right here in some of these. And so what I did is I went to a video that shows you how to do a full bust adjustment on a t-shirt. I honestly didn't need a whole lot of change, um, but it was worth that little bit of extra. And so let me just show you my pattern and the change that I made to it. So this is the front. And based on this video that I just showed you, I put a little bit of extra right here and right here so that that expanded the bust just a little. And it also gave me a little bit of room in the, in the front body. So that little adjustment was great. I also brought my V up a little bit, a little bit higher. I just wanted my V up a little bit higher. So those are just little things you can do to adjust it to fit you just the way you want it. So this top, I had only a little bit of this fabric. And so I really couldn't make the whole shirt. So I did a black on the back. I did my neck band in my colorful fabric, my front and my sleeves. And so this I just love. And I wanna tell you two things I learned on this shirt. One, I had my right size based on these two. Too big, just right. This one's just right. Um, my little V is wonky. It's like, I wanna do a close up on it. It's like, Here's where the point should be, and here's where my V is, is, is wonky. And I just, I just, it bothers me. And I am so not a perfectionist, but it bothers me. And so someone suggested that I could get my V perfect if I would go look at a video by lifting pins and needles. And I went to that video, and all I could think is, no. <laughs> no. Way too many steps. Way too many. Does it really have to be that many steps? Um... So I thought, I'm a, I'm a lazy, lazy sewer. I didn't want to do all those extra steps. So I went ahead and I tried, I thought I'll just try it once and follow all the steps. And, um, oh my gosh, <sighs> it's worth it. I will always do my V's based on her video. And I'm still not to perfection, but I'm really getting close. And I just feel like it's every step of those steps that she gives are important. So my tip to go see her video, uh, you'll be happy. You'll be happy that you did to get your V just right. Um, a 
couple of things I'm doing is I top stitch with a twin needle uh, where it's said to top stitch. Uh, on this one, and all my hems on these are top stitch with the twin needle. I top stitch with my twin needle on the bottom of this hem. But on this sleeve, I wanted to do something fun. Look at this. It's called a flutter sleeve. Now I found a video on how to take a um, patterned sleeve and turn it into a flutter sleeve. And so what you do is you take, I'm just gonna link that video so you can watch her do it. Here's my sleeve. So I drew this on another piece of paper. So I don't wanna cut this up, I wanna use this again. Drew it on another piece of paper and then you make certain slits and you spread it out so that you get this. You had to kind of draw your, I had to fix my cap a little bit and kind of even it out. Um, but she shows you how to do this in the video. And I love this. Love, love, love. And I figured since it was kind of frilly sleeve, I did a machine ruled hem with some wooly nylon that I did on my serger machine. Now, one of the things I wanted to do on these was use my serger pretty much for the whole thing. And on lifting pins and needles, she says there's a place and time for serger and this neckline is not one of them. So um, I went ahead and learned my lesson because that was part of my problem. I was just trying to search the whole thing without really giving it the attention it needed. So now, based on her recommendation, I, mis mis I do a lot of basting, a lot of hand basting to get things just lined up just right. And then um, when it's all done, then I go in and machine uh, serge the edges. So that is what I did on this t-shirt. So this t-shirt, I had just a little bit of this fabric left over from some projects. And um, when I went to cut it out, I didn't have enough to do the front. It just, it just ended right there. <laughs> so what I, what I did was I wanted, to do, I wanted to do these sleeves in this sheer fabric. And uh, so I ended up doing a little extra here. I was thinking of doing something around the neckline, but I ended up doing it here. And so basically, these are sheer sleeves that are also stretchy. And I just, I, I bought this just for this purpose. And I thought it was super cute. And I saw um, a friend of mine showed me a website where they had a bunch of this sheer sleeves and sheer necks and sheer cutouts. And they're like, almost $200 each. So this shirt is like a designer. My design, but designer. So um, I put this piece here and that kind of made this fabric fit. And then I put it in the sleeves. I used lifting pins and needles. Um, it, this is my best V so far. It's just like right straight down the middle and a little bit of puckering. It's not perfect. I'm not her yet, but uh, you know, if you give it a little bit of time and just follow her directions, your V's are going to get better each time. And um, I just love this shirt. It's super cute. I'm going to wear the heck out of it. So those are just a few ideas. I have more. I could, now that I'm kind of hooked on this, but these, all of this is scraps. These are all extra pieces of fabric from things that I made. And if you have a yard you'll probably be able to get most of the t-shirt, if not the whole thing. Um, but if you have a smaller amount, then why not mix it up? You know, put something on the back and then put some of your color in the front. I mean, sky's the limit, really. Sky's the limit. And of course, the shorter your sleeve, the less fabric you'll need. So on these longer ones, I needed more fabric because I had more fabric, but on the shorter ones, not so much. So I hope you have tons of fun playing with your t-shirts and you know just play you you know you got this fabric that really isn't going to any purpose or any use why not we'll use it for something you'll wear and people are going to be like that's so cute where did you get it <laughs> right right uh so you know just just a few ideas i have a few more ideas in my mind that i want to try and if you come back i'm here every friday and i might be sharing some more ideas on some of these t-shirt customizations so please hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell and leave me a comment thumbs up if you don't mind and we'll talk t-shirts some more for sure but that's what i have for today a little bit of customizing a little bit of fun a little bit of drama so Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.